Okay, now, sekiranya government allow um, permits to be traded, yeah? um, so what will happen to those pollutants? Lah? So, kita kena remember, eh, kita kena ingat bahawa uh, pollutants itu dia akan um, apa ni, uh, the, the, the permits can be traded as long as both marginal average cost itu pollutor 1 dengan pollutor 2 is different, tidak sama. Eh, selagi tak capai equal, yeah, both marginal average cost, trade, trading itu boleh berlaku. Okay. So, polluter 1 has incentive to buy permits from polluter 2 as long as the price of each permit is less than its marginal average cost. Jadi, polluter 1, dia akan beli permit daripada polluter 2 selagi dia punya uh, permit itu tidak lebih mahal dari marginal average cost. Okay. Ataupun kata-kata as long as dia punya permit itu harga dia rendah daripada marginal average cost. Polluter 2 pula has incentive to sell the permits for to polluter 1 as long as it can obtain price greater than marginal average cost. So, kalau dia, dah, dia punya harga permits itu lebih daripada uh, marginal average cost dia jadi dia akan teruskan trading ya yeah. jadi kita akan go to round 2 ya yeah, round 2 tadi round 1 sekarang round 2 so now round 2 suppose kita kata the cost for uh, permits each ya yeah, is 8 dollar ya yeah, 8 dollar so one permit cost 8 dollar so polluter 1 akan purchase permit from polluter 2 one unit sahaja okey jadi current pollution level 10 units number of permits Tadi lima, sekarang ni dia dah beli satu daripada polluter tu akan jadi enam. Dan remaining, ya, sepuluh tolak enam, empat unit dia akan buat abatement. Okay. Jadi kita masukkan value abatement dalam marginal average cost. Total average cost, kita akan dapat marginal average cost 10 dollar. 20 dollar, total average cost. Yeah. And the cost of permit pula, 8 dollar lah sebab dia beli satu. And then untuk polluter 2 pula, current pollution 10, number of permits, now tadi dia dah jual, tinggal 4 lah, eh, 5 tolak 5 tolak 1, 4. And now 10 tolak 4, uh, 10 keseluruhan tolak 4 permits, 6 unit dia akan buat abatement. Yeah, jadi 6 unit abatement, dan masukkan dalam marginal average cost 2 dan total average cost 2, kita akan dapat marginal average cost 3.75. Total average cost 11.25 dan dia akan dapat lagi revenue $8 lah sebab dia dah jual kepada polluter 1. So, um, what we can analyze here, total cost um, of abating 10 units of pollution now dah reduce to $31.25. Sebelum ini $39.08. Jadi kita dah save kat sini berapa? $7.81. Okay. So, dia dah menunjukkan tanda-tanda cost effective. So, polluter 1 face lower marginal average cost. Sebelum ni, dia punya marginal average cost $12.50. Tapi dengan buat trading ini, dia punya marginal average cost $10. Polluter 2 pula, dia punya uh, marginal average cost dah meningkat kepada $3.75. Sebelum ini, $3.01 uh, ataupun $3.12. So, sekarang ni dah, lebih, dah tinggi. Yeah, dah tinggi $3.75 So, kita kata polluter 1 is better off sebab total expenditure dia dah berubah dah menurun okay. So, kalau kita buat dia punya total average cost dia um, $20 yeah, tadi kan total average cost $20 campur dengan cost of additional permit $8 jadi $28 right? Um, so, kalau berbanding dengan round 1 dia telah save $3.25. Kita tolak je total average cost uh, round 2 dengan round 1 untuk polluter 1. Sekarang ni dia dah better, better off. Eh? Untuk polluter 2, better off juga. Eh? Sebab net expenditure on abating and trading um, sekarang adalah $3.25. Okay? So total average cost ni $11.25. Tolak dengan revenue from selling the permit $8.00. Uh, $4.55 less than 
total average cost tu. Jadi to, dia punya total average cost tu pun dah berkurangan. So kita kata kat sini uh, round 2 is better ya yeah? ataupun will be cost effective. Um but the problem is that here uh, the problem um uh, arises where kita tengok marginal average cost sekarang ni dua both belum lagi sama, belum lagi equal ya. Yeah? As long as both marginal average cost are not equal jadi trading itu masih possible. Masih possible. Jadi um, kita kata jadi since marginal average cost masih belum lagi equal, jadi kita kata round 2 masih belum lagi cost effective. Ya, belum lagi cost effective. Jadi um, trading of um, exchange the permits akan diteruskan. Ya, akan diteruskan. So let's say kita kata now Um, high cost abater have incentive to purchase more permit from the low cost abater and low cost abater have incentive to sell the permits. So, apa akan berlaku? Low cost abater, dia akan do more cleaning. Dia akan do what is the best for them. Yeah, dia akan do more cleaning dan high cost abater will pay for the right to pollute by buying more permits. Yeah. Jadi, kita kata the trading will continue until incentive to do so no longer exists when marginal average cost level across both firms are equal. Right? Jadi, cost effective hanya boleh berlaku apabila marginal average cost for both firms are equal. Right? So now, kita nak tengok what will happen in the final 